We're going to go to the town manager report. Great. I'll start with the Board and Committee Commission vacancies. There is one vacancy on the Architectural Preservation District Commission, one vacancy until the next annual town election for the Cemetery Commission, one vacancy on the Council on Aging, two associate vacancies for the Green Communities Committee, one member at large vacancy on the Open Space Committee, and one vacancy on the Personnel Committee. Anyone interested in any of these positions can find the volunteer application form on the website, complete it, and return it to the Select Board's office. And if you have any questions on the roles and responsibilities, you can contact our office at 978-582-4130, extension 144. For employment opportunities with the town, we have the following positions a part-time conservation administrative assistant, 10 hours a week, facilities custodian, 40 hours a week, heavy equipment operator, 40 hours a week, which this um, may be filled within by the next meeting, the land use director, 40 hours a week, planning board administrative assistant, 36 hours a week, and a temporary administrative assessing assistant, 32 hours a week. And more information on these positions can be found on the town website as well under job opportunities. Just an update on the planning board administrative assistant position. We have hired Josie Gilchrist as a temporary person for that office to be a point of contact um, until that position Which is- Which commission? Oh. For planning board administrative assistant. So she'll be in that office um, from 9.15 to 12.15, Monday through Thursday. And um, second Tuesday of the month, it will be 10.15 to 1.15. So um, she, uh, the planning board chair knows and the uh, building commissioner who's been very helpful in keeping everyone in the loop in that building. And Richard Harris, the interim. Uh, editorial so. comment. She's all over the place. Where does she get her, <laughs> where does she get her energy? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> she yep. she, she no. commits like 48 hours a day. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Yeah. <laughs> so. And she started right away. We met with her last week, and <laughs> she was able to start today. So uh, Annie uh, has been helping out and getting her caught up to speed Good. as well. So she spent time with her today, and she um, the planning board chair was there as well. So it's a I think a great fit for uh, the time being. So thank you, Josie. Update on 925 Mass Ave. I had a meeting today with Mass Development and their consultant from BSC Group <coughs> that will be handling the development of the conceptual plans, market analysis, and the development of the request for proposals for disposing of 925 Mass Ave. We have a site visit scheduled for March 7th and a build-out analysis review with relevant staff on March 14th. We'll be keep keeping a strict schedule from now until June 30th, as the real estate technical assistance funding needs to be expended by June 30th. As part of the process, we'll be engaging with stakeholders and information will be presented to the select board to receive input. Update on bids RF and RFPs. The request for proposals for data collection services for the assessing department has been sent to the assessors for input and then it will be put out to bid after that. The uh, RFQ for the owner's project manager services for Marshall Park will be advertised and bids, um, maybe Mrs. Lockwood left, um, left that blank. Those will, I'll report back on the due date on that. It should be approximately four weeks out. The invitation for bids for a Flat Hill Culvert project were advertised on February 27th, and the bids will be due March 27th, and the bids for the road materials are due February 21st. The electricity supply contract was signed for 48 months at 11.77 cents per kilowatt, and so this is um, going to be going into effect in November of 24. Uh, 2024, and um, this will be at the expiration of our municipal aggregation contract that we have currently. So, so it's a less or drop? decrease. So it's our current rate is 11.868. So that was good news to lock in for that extended period of time because yeah. electricity costs seem to keep increasing. 
That's all I have for tonight. All right.